Today I'm gonna try to make my first bathing suit with the fabric I found on the market. I've never done this before. I'm gonna grab a bathing suit where I like to fit off and I'm gonna choice it over and see if that works. And after cutting the pattern pieces, it was time to cut the fabric and I always find this the scariest part. But I was making sure that I had everywhere enough seam allowance so I had some space to make some mistakes. So for my bathing suit I had a different front and back pattern and I cut out every pattern piece two times so it has a double lining and of course a left side and a right side so each pattern four times but make sure you turn your pattern because otherwise it wouldn't be correct. I think you can do it without the underlining as well but I like to make my boobies feel a bit more secure. I decided to start with the hardest part and that's for me making the darts. I tried it out already in my previous video for the first time and I winked it and it worked out so I decided this is a stretchy fabric so it would work out. I did it with the outside and also with the underlining and I used a zigzag stitch and that's quite important because it's a stretchy fabric and if you're using a straight stitch it would break if you wear it and that would be quite a problem in a bathing suit, right? And when I had sewn the front pieces together it was time for a fitting and it fitted. So it was time to connect the back panels together, right sides facing each other and make sure that you leave a side open so you can turn them inside out. I got two fronts and two backs, so the front parts are already connected. So now I'm gonna connect the back parts with the front parts. I do think it fits well. I came to the conclusion that I would rather like it to be a high-waisted bikini than a bathing suit. So change of plans, but we're gonna try. <laughs> So I traced the bottom and I made it really high so I can make it lower. I don't know how long I wanted it to be. And I made it the front and the back in one piece. Just cut off the extra that you have on your pattern to fit your butt in. I used that as a front part. And I made a crotch part, but I think it's not necessary. But I did it because it's in my bathing suit. But I think it would be easier without. And I made some mistakes with cutting out the fabric for the top. I wasn't paying attention that the pattern had a up and down, so the flowers are in a different direction. So I had to cut it out again, and now I was a bit short in fabric, so I really had to be logical with fitting the bottoms. Most of the time I don't use pins, but with this fabric it's way easier because it's getting very slippery. So I would recommend using them. And with the bottoms I had to do the same thing. Putting the right sides together and sew them. And leave a bit open, <laughs> just a kindly reminder. And doing this with the front and the back and sew them all together. There 
is the squirrel? <laughs> Good morning. I'm gonna continue finishing my bikini, make the pants a bit shorter, and putting some elastic in the bikini top. <laughs> So I decided to start with the bottoms because they are too big and there are wrinkles in it if I'm wearing them. So I had to rip them apart again, making a new seam line and folding them together so I can make sure that it's the same adjustment and then creating a new seam. Easy as that. In the Netherlands we would say, a kind can do the laundry. A kid can do the laundry. Easy as that. And after I made my granny pants smaller, it was time to make it more neat. I did a zigzag stitch around all the edges. And I think it's not quite logical. I think you can better put elastic in it and fold it over. Then you have a two in one do. But I didn't know that I needed elastic. When I did the next fitting, I was sure that I needed elastic. It was not snuggly. So I measured my waist and I took off 5 centimeters, so it's more tight, but you can make it even more or less if you want, but I wanted it not too tight. And of course you want to have the same stretch distance, so I pinned it down in the middle and on some other spots as well. So you can make sure that you pull it evenly as much as possible. My bikini is done, let me show you! <laughs> Ooh. 